Hi there guys, hope everyone's well. Um, today we are having a look at Blood Bowl, third edition. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now this isn't um, my original copy of Blood Bowl, this is one I picked up on eBay a couple of years ago. And as you can tell by the box as well, it's a smaller box version, like the reissue. This came out in about 2002. So it's like the re-release, it's a smaller box, um, same same components inside, everything's the same, miniatures, um, everything, card books, all the bits and bobs and tokens, but it's just they shrunk the box down, made it a lot smaller than it was originally when it first came out. But yeah, so we're uh, just going to have a look at the, the key components of the game, the miniatures, all the bits you get with it. Um, absolutely love this game. It's such a such an easy game to sit down and play with, especially with my kids, because um, the rules are pretty straightforward. Um, when we don't we don't tend to get too complicated playing the game, like worrying about star player points, and um, we just make up the team and say, right there you go. Come on then, let's play Bud Bowl. See who's going to win. So let's have a look at this fantastic artwork. Again, if you saw my White Dwarf review in my previous video, we saw this artwork and the um, <clears throat> original article when Blood Bowl 3rd Edition was first released. And we'll just shift this out of the way. Then we have underneath, we have the board which is fantastic. Absolutely love this board. Just all the little little details they put in. Like there's a limb there. There's a little rat chewing on a hand. Someone's head, skull. Another limb there, leg. Little barrel of ale on the sides. Yeah, just nice, nice little details they put. And there, they've got some knuckle dusters someone's left behind on the battlefield. So, first of all, we'll have a look at the um, some of the components. And we'll start with the biggest one. You get is the dugouts. Now these are um, nice. Nice cards. Um, dugouts. So you got your first half, your turns, second half, there's your reroll counter. And then this is where you um your team, so you've got your reserves. Anyone who's knocked out goes in there, and obviously anyone that dies on your team or injured goes in in this room with the coffin and the bloody bandages. To the artwork there, look at the little sponge in the water, someone saw. Yeah, so these are um these are nice little components. I was at a um I was at a board game convention a couple of years ago, obviously before lockdown and all that happened. And um there was someone that had some 3D dugouts and they looked really amazing and they weren't too expensive I think it was about 20 30 pounds each they were and I was so tempted to buy them but I thought where am I going to keep them they're just going to take up room on the shelf I don't play blood bowl that in the that that much back then to warrant having them so um unfortunately I I passed on them but I really wish I'd got them now so I think next time, once once all the conventions and events start coming coming back to life again and start start happening, um, I definitely think I'll be picking up a couple of those dugouts, those 3D ones. They were they were just amazing, really good. Um, so yeah, that's the dugouts. Um, now so we got we've got the old. Pass range ruler. 
Quick pass, short pass, long pass, long bomb. I love these as well because you can put them on the board <clears throat> and have your miniature stood underneath and you can still see everything that's going on because they're transparent. And same as the scatter dice. So when the ball drops, someone fumbles the ball, you just pop it down there. Roll the eight-sided dice to decide where the ball scatters. And then you've got the other, other one is the sideline, which you pop down there. So if you have the, the ball goes out of play off the pitch, use the sideline marker to decide whereabouts the ball will come back into play. The member of the crowd throws it back in. So these are nice, nice little components, these, these little transparent markers. Um, we've got the dice, I won't get them out, but you've got, I mean most of you played Bud Bowl, you know, you know how the dice work. Nice little array of dice there, eight sided dice, a couple of d6s, and then these blocking dice with all the different symbols. And we've also got some of the balls in the bag as well. Next that came with the main game is the star player cards. So you've got, and now I have to excuse me for pronouncing this, Morg and Forg, Morgan Forg, the ogre blocker, star player. You can have him. You've got Nobler Blackwart, the goblin with the chainsaw. Another star player. And Scrapper Sawhead. Goblin with a pogo stick. Pretty cool. And then the human one, Griff Oberwald, the human star player blitzer. Very famous character. So those were the ones that came with the game. And then obviously when you brought the expansions, you've had all the um, star player cards for the other characters that you could get. Then you've got the human team card, double-sided. So you've got the throwers, the blitzers, all their stats. And then we turn it over and you've got the linemen and the catchers. So these are like quick reference sheets, really handy for when you're playing the game. And then you've got the same for the orc team. We've got the throwers and the blitzers. And then on the other side, you've got the linemen and the black orcs. And then a quick sort of rule introduction to the game. Just a quick four page little booklet. So yeah, here's, a, here's the um, little table for the blocking dice. So what each symbol means. You definitely don't want to roll a skull. And it's telling you about your tackle zones, dodging, blitzing. Little diagram showing you how to play. Examples of passing. So this is just like a quick Quick sheet to sort of give you a basic rundown of the rules, how it's played. Then, this is nice, a little how to paint your models in Blood Bowl. So a paint guide, which is always nice, included in the games. Sort of showing you, showing you as well different sort of colour schemes. You could paint up your orcs and humans. And then there's sort of stage by stage guides. We'll have a look at the miniatures in a second. But yeah, it's fun. really nice to see. Then again, each team got one of these cards as well. So you've got your agility table with all your modifiers for catching, dodging, passing, picking up the ball. 
Then again, there's the blocking dice. There's your basic skills. Injury table down here. And then if we flip it over, special rules for like kicking off. So things that could happen at the start of the game. Also the weather. The weather could affect the game. Which is a nice little touch. So you get two of those for each team and also your sort of team sheet. I think this is for, yeah, here we go, because it's double-sided. So this is who you're fighting, so your opponents, results, scores, casualties, your winnings. And then we flip it over and this is for your team roster. So yeah, players' names, positions, all their skills. And then you get into like the star player points, most valuable player down there. Then there's space to make create your own team badge, team name, race, your re-rolls. So yeah, you get a nice sheet of those. Quite a few of those for the game. And then now we will move into the rule book, which is a really nice, nice big thick book. Lots of, lots of good stuff in here. Um, what we will do, we'll have a quick look at all these star players. And other characters, the Skaven teams, goblins, high elves. Undead team there, and then some of the big guys. And look at that rat ogre, that's cool. Really nice. So now we'll just have a quick, quick flick through this book. So again, this is sort of breakdown, introduction. Um, how you're setting up the game, your teams sequence of play, so receiving team turn, kicking team turn, again it tells you about movement, then blocks, knockdowns and injuries, telling you about the injury table, casualty table, throwing the ball, just nice little, nice little basic Easy to understand diagrams explaining to you how you pass the ball, how you catch it, your rolls, what you need to get, what happens if you don't, if you fumble the ball and drop it. Yeah, it's just a nice, nice book to have a flip through. It's nice to see the little artwork as well, that dwarf player there. And it shows you some games in progress. Obviously, it's all black and white, but that's not not much to worry about. There's high elf, high elf player there. Yeah, it's a nice, nice book to have a flip through. So every it's got everything here. It gives you a section on secret weapons. I mean, like the dwarf death roller. Imagine playing that on the field. Um, skills and traits, huge table on those. If you're creating your own characters, give you all the skills and traits you could use for your players. Then there's a section on the leagues, how to start your own competition. Yeah, really nice book. I think if we look, I think that's it. I don't think there's any more actual artwork. It's just, um, no, it's just about different teams, different players. It's telling you all the sort of goblin teams, halfling teams. It's giving you a little sort of backstory, sort of all the different types of races and their teams in the game, which is nice. So it tells you 
what they're good at, what they're not good at. And then if we go on to the miniatures, so we're going to start with humans. So here's your human lineman. Then we got the old human catcher. Excuse me, it's not seem to be focusing. There we go. Human catcher. And then human blitzer. That's it, there he is. And then the last one, just gotta find him. This is four of each um, type of model. And you got your human thrower. And then we move on to the orcs. So we've got the orc, orc thrower. Good old fashioned 90s style games workshop orc there. Obviously for football. And we got the orc, orc blitzer. Really nice. And we have, where is he, the big guy? Black orcs, black orc blocker. Really nice. And then last one. Who am I missing? Oh no, sorry, I got that wrong. This is the Blitzer. This is the Orc Blitzer. The other one I showed you was the Orc Lineman. I got them mixed up. But yeah, so obviously you get multiples of most of them. Like there's six linemen for each team. Yeah, I'll show you quickly. They're all in the box there. Six linemen, you get a couple of throwers, a couple of blitzers, a couple of black orcs, and that. But yeah, so that is that is Blood Bowl, the base game, third edition. My favourite edition, I have to say. I've been contemplating picking up the newer edition of Blood Bowl that's come out, but I just, to me, this is, this is my favourite. This is the one that I've always played. This is the one that I've read all the articles about in White Dwarf. Um, love all the miniatures for it. I used to have used to have another copy of um, Blood Bowl, the bigger box version of this, and I had the human team, the orc team. I had Skavens and I had Undeads, which I picked up painted. Um, they weren't mine. They were um, ones I brought. I think it was like from the free ads. Someone was selling a load of games, and I picked it all up from the free ads and the. The painting was unbelievable, it was really good, good painting, but unfortunately I had to sell it years ago, because um, we were moving house, and we needed to sort of get rid of stuff, make space, and I sold my Blood Bowl and all the, um, all the teams that were with it, which I really regret. So at one, some point in the future I'd like to get, get them back again, get them painted, because I'm not a great painter. As I've said before, I, I'm terrible at painting miniatures, so I'd love to pick up the Blood Bowl team painted. But um, that's it, guys. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and um, hopefully I should get some more videos posted up soon. Take care. Bye-bye.